Brock Purdy, this was one of the first ones that jumped out to me. And it's not it's not really so much about the matchup, which is one of the reasons why it did jump out. Because like I said, this matchup can kind of go a number of different directions. But Purdy's longest rush, it's available at eight and a half yards. I like the under, partially because I think this is a little bit of an overreaction to the championship game where we saw him run a lot. He's only gone over this number uh, six times in 18 games this year. So a pretty strong trend toward the under to begin with. And like we saw last week, Purdy is a good scrambler. He averages 9.1 yards per scramble, including the playoffs. Only Kyler Murray is better. So he picks his spots, and when he does take off, he's good. But he only averages 1.2 scrambles per game. So the odds of him actually you know, taking off and hitting the over on this aren't great. He only scrambles on 3.2% of his dropbacks, well below the league average of 5%. And you know, you also have to factor in, you know, the run game is Kansas City's weakness. So having a very run heavy game script for the 49ers, you know, at least out of the gate is likely to be the game plan. It's kind of what they want to do anyway. So if, if that goes well for them, if they're either in a close game or controlling the game, they're not, he's not going to be dropping back to pass at a very high rate either. So he doesn't scramble at a high rate. If he doesn't need to drop back at a high rate either, you know, it's a greater, uh, greater factor in just in terms of lowering the odds that he takes off and has a 10 yard run or something like that. I, I think you're with the line where it is, you're basically banking on like one long run. And so, like I said, it's not too much about the matchup. It, it is mostly just to got um, betting against where people are going to overreact because the overreaction I think is to take the over here. And so I think we've, I think it's in our favor to take the under and just bet against what we saw last week. All right. At running back, you've got uh, the aforementioned Christian McCaffrey, and you are interested in his longest rush over 17 and a half yards. Yeah, longest rush for Christian McCaffrey. Actually, we're only talking about longest props today, just by coincidence, longest whatever for a few different guys. This one is a little bit more matchup based, although we do have a, a decent trend with McCaffrey hitting the over. He's gone over this number in 11 of 18 games this year. But as we said, you know, Kansas City's defense is their weak link and we've played longest rush props against them and have been fairly successful throughout this season, especially the second half of the year. McCaffrey is just one of those guys that if you don't create early contact against him, he's going to gash you for big plays at some point. And Kansas City, that's that's their that's where they struggle the most in terms of their run defense. They contact the ball carrier at or behind the line of scrimmage on only 37% of attempts. That's the second lowest rate in the league. And so against the, that's a, just, just a really bad matchup against a guy like McCaffrey. When he is not contacted at or behind the line of scrimmage, he averages 8.1 yards per attempt, and 12% of their, those carries go for at least 15 yards, which is the third highest rate in the league. So he's just one of these runners who's just – I mean, it's, it's why he's great. He's got the great combination of explosive ability and vision. So if you're not going to disrupt him at the line of scrimmage and you're going to let him hit the designed hole – at a pretty high rate, he's going to break off some big runs. So this is just a, this prop is just a really good matchup of strength versus weakness in terms of McCaffrey and the Chiefs run defense. 